Hey everybody and welcome to Stuffed! Now this was a game that was released into early access on Steam a couple of years ago, but I had never heard of it until it was released on Xbox right before Christmas. And in this game, you play as the teddy bear of a little girl, and you have to defend her from her nightmares. Take a look. So this is a horde survival game. Think Call of Duty Zombies, but with garden gnomes and rubber duckies instead of zombies. And the trailer for this looked absolutely ridiculous and adorable at the same time. And if you're gonna introduce your kids to the first person shooter genre, you could do a lot worse than this. The weapons in this game are not guns. You're shooting things like golf balls and uh, marbles. The hand grenades are microwave popcorn. It's just a really novel take on this particular type of game. Now, personally, I probably should have played through the tutorial because I have no idea what I'm doing. I, I'm not sure how you change weapons. I know you can, but um, I should have figured that out ahead of time. And I don't know how you actually throw the grenades. But the game does have a tutorial, so if you're smart, you'll play through it. But you guys know me. I just wanted to jump right in and, and start causing chaos. And for all of the nightmares that you destroy, the gnomes, the robots, the rubber duckies, um, you gain points or money. And you can use that to buy more ammo and to open doors, which gives you new areas to explore and access to new weapons to use against these nightmares. And each wave gets harder and harder. And I believe I read there are 10 waves in each night after which you move to a new map and a new night starts. And I am out of ammo. So um, how do I switch weapons? Um, see, this is why people play through the tutorials. Uh, no. You know what, we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, okay, that's, that's to aim down the sights. That's to select your enemy. Um, oh, oh, Q? Okay, so I can smash with Q. Oh, but no, 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 there's too many of them. Oh, that... No, get away from me, you evil duck. Oh, wait, I'm down to half a heart? Oh, this is not good. This is, this is... Yeah. This is bad. So, yeah. That is stuffed. Downed by a duck. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to try one more round. Gus, this is actually a lot of fun. And I think the thing that is most interesting about it is, besides being absolutely adorable, it plays really well. I mean, as as it's a good first-person shooter. Oh, yeah. There we go. Headshot. Okay, now I got the hang of this. So the other thing you have to be aware of is you have to protect your owner's bedroom door. And that was the door upstairs with the hearts on it. I think it says Ellie. Ellie is her name. And, and you see in the left-hand corner, there's that blue circle around the door. Well, if the nightmares get close enough to it, they'll start attacking the door. And that blue line will go down. And if they break in there, it's game over. Now you can repair the door by buying those toolkits like the one I just ran past, 
But our door is okay, so I'm not going to spend my, my points on that yet. And then we also have a level up table here, which allows you to upgrade your teddy bear. But it's just so much fun smashing these garden gnomes. Now, if they just had flamingos, I would be in heaven. All right, so we're, we're accumulating a decent amount of points. And we've only got two gnomes left in this round. On that bar at the bottom of the screen where it says wave two, you see over on the right hand side, it tells you how many nightmares are left in the round. So I'm gonna keep one alive. This is this is what I used to do in Call of Duty Zombies. So I'll, I'll just keep them alive and, and run around the map and you know buy extra ammo and do the things I need to do before the next wave starts. All right. So we have ammo. Let's see how the, the level up table works. So max ammo, door health, increase ammo. Let's let's go with max ammo. All right, so this round we have 18 nightmares. There's a bunch of duckies there. I don't like the duckies. Whoa, 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 whoa. Those guys are hard. <laughs> the game also has multiplayer co-op. So you can get your friends together and you can both be stuffed animals defending the girl. And I am going to definitely have to try this with my son. Because something tells me this could be an absolute riot in multiplayer. And I think we've got a... Oh! Oh, yeah, the game also has power-ups! Did you see that over there? Let me, let me grab some more ammo. I'm gonna take care of these, uh, these duckies here. Okay, there's two left. Let me go grab that power-up. I've got invincibility, so let me go over there and punch these guys. Die, ducky! <laughs> Alright, so I've got a bunch of points saved up, so I'm gonna come over here, and I'm gonna open this door just to see how that works. Okay, so there's a new wave. What's this? Self-revive. Do I have enough to pick this up? Oh, 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 go! Man, they're just, like, coming right in on you. I was not expecting that. Oh, 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 I'm hurt, I'm hurt, I'm hurt! Oh, no, no, they're coming in this door, too? Um, okay, wait, is there another weapon in here? Can I, can I buy it? How do I, how do I buy it? All right. I thought I had enough. But let's get rid of these guys first. All right, climb up here. Oh wow, there's a lot of them. Yeah, that that got that got hard fast. All right. Oh, and I'm almost out of ammo. I uh, yep, six. Yeah, I gotta get I gotta get more ammo. Okay, come back over here. I got enough points. So 300 points. There we go. 62 ammo. All right. We got only two left. All right, we're gonna we're gonna survive this round, this wave. All right, let me uh, let me get my catch my breath here. Okay, so what is what is that? That's okay. That's the door repair kit. Um, what does this do? Oh, this this teleported me into that other room. I don't know why I can't pick that up. Oh, you use the scroll button on the mouse to shift between weapons. All right, good to know. Uh, what is this? Yeah. <laughs> Feel the wrath of my stick. All right. So, um, should we open another door? See what's on this side? All right, well, boxing gloves? Can I, uh, the old one, two? Oh, I can't afford it. Oh, I, I have very little, little points here. Uh, uh, apparently the, the, oh wait, wait, apparently my stick is not as effective as I thought it was. No, 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 run, 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 Teddy. Uh, this is not good. This is not good at all. What Door is under attack. Oh no, that means they're, it's attacking the little girl. Oh, what the heck is that? That was the thing from her nightmare, right? Um, wait, what's shooting lasers at me? 
What is... I, I don't know what's going on! Uh, I'm out of ammo! Alright. No! No! I will save Ellie! Oh, uh, this... This is... This is bad. And there's still 28... Uh, I can't repair the door? No! What? Oh, Ellie's door was destroyed. Oh, I failed. I'm sorry, Ellie. The other thing that's really neat is you have all these levels of customization in the game. You can customize your weapons, but, um, and your teddy bears. Let me, let me go over to the teddy bears, because, oh, this is, this is cool. And you can rotate, yeah, and there's outfits. This is really neat. So you and your friends, if you're playing a multiplayer, can all look pretty different. Oh, and if you click on it, you can change the color. You can buy different color teddy bears. All right. What, what about the outfits? Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, yeah, we're going to have some fun with this game. But, um... That's going to do it for our first episode of Stuffed. If you guys are enjoying it on the channel, please hit that like button to let us know. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. It helps us to grow the channel and you never miss an episode of content. We'll be back soon with more videos for you guys. Thanks for watching.